good morning all <coughs> so another text uh, gheranda samhita gheranda samhita and hatha yoga pradipika those two texts run in parallel that uh, it's a uh, gheranda samhita it's a uh, it talks further that st- it's a uh, it has about 350 shlokas and whereas hatha yoga pradipika is uh, slightly more than that one and uh, seven chapters it divides uh, practice into seven chapters it's a uh, it's a uh, gheranda samhita it's a tantric text discussion between uh, rishi gheranda and his disciple chandakapali it's a discussion that uh, it's a uh, talking it's uh, about the uh, it's a uh, various dimensions of yoga and uh, seven chap- seven chapters are first chapter talks about purification second chapter purification through shatkarma kriyas second chapter talks about strengthening ourselves how to strengthen ourselves and third chapter talks about uh, studying of not only strengthening like a rock you got to have a steady position also through mudras and bandhas and uh, fifth one fourth one it talks about calming how to calm yourself through pratyahara pratyahara means withdrawal how to withdraw yourself and uh, f- f- fifth one it talks about feeling the lightness l- lightening within your in the body through the pranayama you feel the lightness in the body and the sixth chapter talks about reflection you got to contemplate on something in your life contemplation through dhyana how to do the dhyana it talks about dhyana and the last chapter talks about isolation it's a samadhi how to attain the complete peace within yourself it's a six chapter it's a one is a purification one is second is a strengthening third is a studying fourth is calming fifth is a light lightening and reflecting and sa and last one is isolation through samadhi is uh, these are the instead of in patanjali yoga sutra there is ashtanga yoga this talks about saptanga yoga seven limbed sadhana seven limbed asadhana and uh, in the purification so purification it talks about it's a physical purification we exist in three level in the body level in the mental level and in the spiritual level in the body level is a gheranda samhita and hatyaga pradipika talks about how to pur- purify yourself we can't say that we are not worried about body purification without having a proper body you can't do any sadhana your life itself is a burden for yourself and burden for others how to purify yourself physically and the se- it's another dimension it's a mental level purification in the mental level and physical level there is another purification technique it's a patanj hatha yoga doesn't it's a gheranda samhita doesn't talk about that one it is through is a uh, fasting it's a uh, fasting on ekadashi day it's a, they say it's a purifies the body and mind and ekadashi day in padma purana it, it talks about that one it's a uh, we have 11 it's a uh, it's a uh, senses it's a uh, five act, action organs of action five organs of knowledge and six, 11th is the mind it's a uh, by uh, observing the fasting on the 11th day all 11 it's a uh, angas 11 senses gets purified it's uh, it's uh, talks about fasting on the padmanabha day padmanabha day it's a uh, if you read the scriptures that uh, it's very interesting how they re- relate that one in the dwadasha nama that in the 12 names of the lord uh, is a uh, keshava narayana madhava govinda and uh, it's a uh, padmanabha is the 11th one it's a fast on the padmanabha day it's a 11th day fasting it's a uh, it's uh, all 11th senses gets purified uh, for your it's a uh, legs hands it's a uh, lower apertures you are talking you are uh, eating mouth uh, functions as two limbs it's uh, one is jnana also for eating purpose and eyes ears nose and skin it's uh, and the mind it's uh, all 10 senses gets purified and uh, it's uh, there is a medical doctor who won the uh, it's a nobel prize also he wrote a book man the uh, unknown man the unknown he's a brain surgeon 
and he got the nobel prize also for his uh, work and he was saying that uh, he did not refer to indian books at least once in 15 days those who can fast this uh, they need not have to come to me that uh, generally they remain healthy that even the medical science that he wrote about that one and uh, without referring to indian books but in the, from the medical point also it's a eka fasting on the ekadashi day purifies the body and mind another pu- type of purification our shastras talk about is a bhakti yoga it's a read the scriptures that when we read the scriptures our bhava gets purified that when you read the bhagavatam ramayana exploits of hanuman it's a play of uh, shri krishna it's a uh, tears come out that in joy in ecstasy that uh, you, this uh, it purifies your antaranga you purifies your emotions you purifies your mind it's a uh, that's why it's a uh, heavy insistence is laid on reading the scriptures R- read the stories of the great people it inspires you that uh, it's a uh, sometimes it takes you in ecstasy that uh, bhava gets purified unknowingly uncontrollably tears come to you that uh, it uh, purifies bhava samshuddhi happens in bhakti yoga and another one is the jnana yoga jnana agni dagdha karmani it's a if you uh, it's a jnana yoga jnana yoga knowing whatever you learn try to go to the bottom of that one when you know that one it's a it's the jnana jnana that it burns all the karmas karmas of your past life it's the only way we can burn off the karmas through jnana without jnana we can't burn off that they say in every life we do enough karma for 10 lives by doing just doing karmas we can't get rid of the karma we can't by just going to the temple or just reading the scriptures that you got to go deeper deeper get the inner meaning inner meaning then only that when you are get the aparoksha jnana when you realize then only that all the past karmas goes away that uh, unla- uh, until you get the uh, jnana bottom of the knowledge that go deep of the knowledge that you can't get rid of the karma it's a it's a purification one is through the physical level and uh, another is the body and the mental level through fasting on the it's 11th day and bhakti yoga and jnana yoga in the physical level it's a gerenda samhita talks about uh, shat karma kriyas six ways of purifying ourselves one is saneti neti today we will do the neti kriya and the neti kriya is uh, people feeling feverish or uh, sinus problem hay fever problem doing the neti this uh, you overcome that problem about two weeks back i was feeling feverish that in my office many people were having fever even i that i was feeling feverish i did jal neti that uh, it, it went away is went away that uh, without taking any medicine it's uh, keeping you generally healthy if you feeling unwell and if you think you are getting fever do the jal neti that uh, it's a jal neti is uh, you get, keep yourself healthy next is kapalabhati kapalabhati we have been doing that one we'll explain further later and uh, neti kapalabhati dhauti dhauti kriya is a uh, it's a intestine it cleaning the intestine up is a phlegm build up in the lungs and if you think you have eaten something wrong or eaten too much excess is a tickling your inner tongue that uh, entire it's a abdomen up things come uh, it's a inside it comes out and uh, if you feel uh, it's a uh, unwell another way is early morning drink a couple of glasses of lukewarm water and in front of the sink you tickle your inner tongue entire thing comes out that it it's, it keeps your stomach healthy that is the dhauti kriya and another is basti kriya is intestine down intestine down keeping the lower abdomen healthy it's a uh, people with piles related problem if you go to a river or clean water and sit in the clean water and ro- open your rectal muscles open and close open and close it cl- clean cleanses the inner that uh, rectal muscles and lower abdomen and it's uh, is a basti kriya and offshoot of that one is basti kriya is shankaprakshalana shankaprakshalana our uh, stomach 
looks like a conch that uh, our stomach looks like a conch prakshalana means thorough washing it's a thorough churning it's a um, churning that one if uh, diseases if you have diseases that uh, nagging disease that even the medicine can't cure that one doing that uh, shankha prakshalana generally you keep yourself healthy last year also we did uh, two three times we did shankha prakshalana this year in winter we are planning to do that uh, maybe in june we will do that one and uh, many people from here also they did they felt very good that uh, it's a good way of losing the weight if you feel like uh, losing the weight or keep yourself healthy shankha prakshalana hel- helps and another is uh, navli kriya we do navli kriya that agni sara kriya we do as the offshoot of navli kriya is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, agni sara kriya is navli kriya it is explained in the book also navli kriya open your abdominal muscles and hold it and try to move your stomach either side left and right side keeps your it's a digestive fire flares up it flares up the jataragni and keeps your abdomen healthy and it keeps your digestive system healthy and the last one is thratak thratak is a uh, keeps your eyes very healthy that in surya namaskar also i mentioned in the bright sun that uh, look at the bright sun for a couple of uh, few seconds and close your eyes it keeps your eyes healthy and another one is gaze at the lamp it's uh, in the altar in front of you that if you have a it's a um, keep a uh, lamp in your eye side and look at the lamp and close your eyes it prevents you having cataract and keeps your eyes set very healthy that uh, thratak also we did uh, we do every alternate terms we'll do in the next term today we'll do jalaneti kriya jalaneti and sutraneti there is sutraneti it's uh, you put a catheter catheter tube through your one nostril it comes out through your mouth or other nostrils you pull the catheter tube and uh, people with heavy blockages they find that one beneficial and other way is uh, pouring the lukewarm water through one nostril it comes out through the other do repeat the same with the other one it keeps your that uh, your uh, sinus portion very healthy i will discuss, explain further on that one later lay down on your back